We have a warrior. Speaking of wrestling, the warrior console. We have a follow up. So we recorded this last Tuesday. At, uh, Talking about the Warrior 64 Kickstarter, Ian, which was the HDMI N64. Uh, with with uh, we, we we surmised it was probably N64 guts, with with uh, with the with a, with a uh, RGB card inside and then HDMI out. Turns out that's the case. Mail Jesus, uh, our pal, put out a video that Tuesday, uh, basically confirmed they sent them one, the full console with the with the nice shell that we liked. They did the, we did the shell. They they sent them one and he compared it. Um, the output to like you know basically like a thirty dollar uh, cord yeah. cord that so, you can buy off the off the shelf. Right. So to to run it down real real simply, just to do a follow up because we weren't sure what was going to be in there. So it it, it does seem to be that it's just actual N sixty four guts in there. It's not a repro board, um, and it's using their um, HDMI kit, which uh, as uh, Jason says. Um, they, in their conversations with him, basically compared it to Ultra HDMI. The Ultra HDMI mod kit is uh, fairly well known in N64 circles. It's been around for a while. It's an expensive kit, runs about 150 bucks, and then of course you've got to be comfortable to comfortable installing it. But the output is, I mean, for a Nintendo 64, it's insanely nice visual output. Mm -hmm. So they were basically saying that they were going to create something that was going to be comparable to the Ultra HDMI. That was Warrior's selling point. So Jason got the console, and uh, on the video, uh, which I'm sure we'll link to or you can find, uh, runs a number of side-by-side -side comparisons of games between... <clears throat> the Warrior 64 and Ultra HDMI, and uh, the difference is, is very noticeable. Um, it's very noticeable right off the bat, and also the uh, Warrior 64 tends to saturate the reds, uh, which can happen with a lower quality um, uh, visual processing um, when, it, when it's being put to screen. Um, I can't remember exactly if he compared it to a... Uh, a uh, um, the Hyperkin cord, I think he did, and the Hyperkin cord was very comparable. Uh, that's like, what, like 30 bucks, those things? They're yeah, Hyper yeah exactly. 20, 20, we sell 20. them. The Hyperkin cords, uh, was it was very comparable to a Hyperkin cord, okay. which is not bad for 30 bucks, but that's not... Gets that, the job done. Gets the job done at 30 bucks. But it's not a for 95 bucks, for, yeah. Right. Not 150. Not a $95 board or a $150 board. So then you really end up with a, a unit that I agree is just something you can't recommend in any way, shape, or form. Why? Well, they're overcharging for the, the result that you get. Sure. And B, back to what I said last week that it annoyed me about it and we were fairly certain it was going in this direction, it's cannibalizing parts of old Nintendo 64s to make a new Warrior 64 version so i'm not really yeah. into either of, I, i'm not really into that on either end and it seems like um it seems like the response to it uh since he got his video up has been pretty negative for warrior 64 and they're doing that thing that unfortunately it drives me nuts that companies do that they put out a bad product and then they go well we're going to fix this eventually how do, how do you do that you already printed out your your, your little mod kit board and like how do you do that so i think this was was this was them paving over the potholes of the product by the shell, which we do like the shell, and including the controller. Sure. And I think... I, I don't like the shell. I think it... I think it's okay. I think it accurately... I think it does a good job of representing what it's supposed to, but I'm not a fan of the shell. But, I do like the controller. But some people would be into the shell. Sure. Yes, I can understand why some people would be um, into the shell. So that's that's a way of saying, okay, we'll give you the shell, we'll give you the controller, and we'll give you this maybe mediocre solution we're gonna throw all yeah. this whiz bangery at you to cover up the fact that yeah. the actual product is not very because it was 95 bucks for the the shell and the mod kit and 150 for giving the guts as well that's how it was um yeah i think you also compare it to i didn't know there's a retro tink mini out now as well and it's only 70 bucks um and that'll do even if you got this even if this is the retro tink, I, I haven't seen the comparison but he did i think he mentioned the mini 70 bucks any console that's that's good to go it may not be the best one it may not be your ultra hdmi but it'll be it'll be fine yeah i can't remember what the mini's restrictions are i think the mini does composite and s video yes. in so that's all it does but i think the main reason for it was that um it's actually a really decent way to uh 
do the N64. And I saw that picture on there yeah. and it, it looks it looks nice. It, it's your reasonable it's in a, the middle solution. Which is kind of, I mean, that's how I feel. There's about a big the market for that. Like I would get the mini if I, I, I would get that for 70 bucks and that I'm good for most of my retro consoles. I'm good. <laughs> sure. You know, as, I mean, S video composite, you're covering mostly everything at that point up to the, you know, up to the nineties, late nineties. So yeah, so it's, it's, again, it's a shame. Um, it's, it's a shame. I, I just wish that they were a little more transparent up front. And it sounded like he went back and forth with them a few times at least. They didn't respond to my email. Well, I was going to say, we didn't get yeah. questions, to, answers to all of our questions either. No, they never responded back to me. And like I said, I, I went back and forth with them throughout the year here and there about this when they, when they let me know. They sent me a picture of this earlier in the year. And that's when I asked, I'm like, is this emulation? What is it? And they tell me, no, it's not emulation. I'm like, okay, that's good. Then I, so I assume they made their own board, but they didn't. It was just a HDMI conversion kit it turns out so yeah i feel bad for um n64 fans i may not be a fan of the system but i know that they want their they want i, I mean not to use a brand name but they want their analog system they they that's what they want and i don't think I we're think there yet uh, we're not even at the level of a hyperkin system yet i mean yeah. hyperkin has not put out a clone which is what they would do the emulation isn't <laughs> close yeah, so and, there's no clones. There's no FPGAs you for it. Seen FPGA for it, and uh, the only all-in-one option we've seen so far is cannibalizing other systems and then throwing a subpar HDMI out mod onto it. So um, hold tight, I guess. I mean, see where it's at in a couple of years. I'm sure it'll come along, but it's not. It's not going to be now. I don't think it's going to be very soon. The N64's architecture, <laughs> holy crap, Nintendo! You might have everything, uh, every other system that in, on, in the universe, uh, either either having an FPGA solution or 100% emulated. And yes, when I say 100% emulated, I mean 100% emulated correctly. Because it's, again, if you're gonna, you're gonna get at me, go play the esoteric titles on an emulator and see how they play. Uh, even on a souped up computer. You're gonna have fucking issues. It's not fun. I'm going through it right now. I have a team of writers going through it. <laughs> the difference between playing Mario Kart and playing fucking Xena and N64. Or, or playing a, a sports title you didn't think would, 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 would oh, this will be fine. No. No, the N64 is a mess when it comes down to it. Why, why do you think they didn't have a lot of, you know, a, a lot of a huge amount of titles on the system? They didn't want to deal with it, the developers. What the fuck is this? What, what, what am I doing on this, on this console? It's r ridiculous. Sorry, Ian. It's all good. I'm, I'm living the pain. You live it. I'm living the fucking pain right now. And plus, even you can emulate it, again, it, it, it looks like you know, it's all glossied up with a fucking glide plug-in. It doesn't even look how it did. Right. So even if you come out with a Hyperkin, <clears throat> even if you came out with a Hyperkin emulator console, it's not going to look how it did in the 90s. It's going to be some weird solution to make it look like like it does on your average emulator with glide. It'll it'll look too too smooth and too too uh, too polygoned up. We'll just say it won't look it won't look naturally. We'll just say rugged like the N64 did with like their filter, you know what I mean, things like that. Sure. 